Hello folks, welcome to my next Touch 9 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to introduce a simple trick showing you how to create the most popular filter called Time Warp Scan on Instagram and TikTok in Touch Designer. I just simply use the feedback technique and the corner pin top. So it's gonna be a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. So the same as usual, let's delete everything and get started. Okay, so the first thing I will do is bring in that button to trigger our effect and connect to the filter, change the type to box, change the uh, filter width to 25. This will make our data slowly reach out to 1 and connect to the mass, change the uh, range to minus 0.5 to 0.5. Connect to the null again. So those two are just for us to manipulate the data later, which you will see in a second. Now the next thing I can do is bring in a rectangle and change the resolution to 1280 by 720. Just change the size to uh, 0 0.11145 and 0 0.6. So it will give us a very, very thin line, uh, line in the center. And I can just uh, turn off the fill alpha and turn on the background alpha so that it will just become uh, like a mask. This will be used in the feedback techniques later. And we just copy that rectangle again. I bring back the alpha and turn off the background alpha and make it a little bit thicker and change the uh, color. This is sort of like an indicator for us to know where the effect happens. So we can reference that mass to these two uh, rectangles. Let's try it. Okay, so when I hit the button, these two lines are uh, slowly moving from the left to the right. The next step is just bringing the video cam and flip it. Connect to a composite, connect to the rectangle, and choose the operation to the over, and change my device. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> nice. So actually, as you can see, uh, this mask is slowly moving. So now we are getting the main part of this trick. Let's connect to a feedback, then connect to the, uh, then connect to the composite and choose operation to add. Just drag our composite to the add. Now we uh, press the button again. Yeah, it is giving me like the time warp scan effect. Great, we're actually getting somewhere. Then we can connect to our button again, connect to a node. Just reference that data to the uh, post in the feedback. So that we can actually reset the feedback effect. Okay, so the next step is uh, connect to the corner pin. And we can reference that neural data to the bottom left, to the top left, then go to the pin and reference to the bottom left and the top left. This is sort of like giving us crop effect. And then we can this then then we can just uh, make this put these two layers together and choose add so if we press the button again we should able to see the effect oh i forgot to press the start button how stupid i am <laughs> Yeah, great. It is working right now. 
However, one thing needs to be mentioned here. The value actually is decreasing from uh, 1 to 0. It is working well if the value is from 0 to 1. But these things you can change later. In here, in this tutorial, I just quickly show you an idea. Okay, great. The last thing we will do, just put our indicator on the top. So we connect to our rectangle, uh, to the composite, and choose over. Yeah, that's it. That's all the things I want to share in this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next one. Take care.